Okay, so I know that the past year I really let the kawaii part of my channel kind of go. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to be doing maybe some sort of um, more high quality thing on my channel. Um, as of right now, I am using a webcam. I have upgraded my mic, um, but this is going to be just a short wig collection video while I talk about the new year. So first of all, I think I'm going to go by first wig, second wig, third wig that I've ever bought, which I keep a lot of my wigs in here. It's clearly cheap Halloween-y stuff like that. Um, I bought this from Mark's Grocery Store and Department Store. This was $3, I believe. And, I mean, I don't really wear it much anymore, but it's just kind of like... I walked around wearing this. I went to work in this. And that's sweet. I'm also gonna be putting these back as I go. No, that's not it. Um, this one could technically be considered my first ever wig. Because this was my mom's first, and no, she does not wear wigs. Um, she bought it for Halloween. Um, it is a Morticia wig, and you literally cannot even get a brush through this thing because of like the hair will fall out so easily. But it was cute to like wear a hat with, and that's exactly what I named this one. Was Morticia the last one I named Lola. Alright, I want to say this one was definitely after 
definitely after. I'm pretty sure I'm right on this. This was my third ever wig. As you could tell as I went, the quality did not go up at all. Like it's just that thin. It looks really really good on camera right now, but trust me, it's way too thin to actually wear without a, um, anything with it. But I did like wearing um, this one with like a hat. I actually did until probably about a month ago and I'll probably still continue to wear this one with a hat at some point. Okay, now before I get into this next week, so we're already at 6.11, um, one thing I want to say is that in the new year, I'm going to be trying to get a lot more content out on my channel, I'm going to be trying to produce a lot more music, I'm going to be trying to, um, create a lot better quality of content. This was my third ever wig, um, this was one of my first ever more realistic looking wigs. So it just looks like this, and then here's the front. I wore this a lot. Um, this was the first wig I ever really owned where, well, other than the blue one, like where it didn't just, oh, and the blonde one, I guess. Really the only one that had at first that really had a lot of fallout hair is the black one. But this one was on Amazon, and if I can, I'll put as many links as I can down below. I probably won't be able to for a couple of wigs, but for the most part, if I can find similar ones, I'll put the links. And this one was from Amazon, if I didn't say that already. Okay, and then this was the fifth wig I've ever fifth? Well technically this one was bought first, but it didn't come until after I bought this one. So this is my fifth wig ever. And it's cute, like it's more like a Christmas kind of wig, but it's still cute. I mean it's like a Lady Gaga esque wig. It's a short little bob, it's white. This one I got from Party On, but if I once again, if I find a similar one on Amazon, I will go ahead and link it. But I'm sure if you go to your um, local Party On or Party City, Party Place, you can find this wig. It's in with like all like the red wigs, blue wigs, green wigs. Like there should be like a wall of like basically the exact same wig but in different colors. Okay, that's the end of all of the bagged wigs. Okay, and then... This one I actually got off Amazon. It's still one of my favorite wigs that I own. It feels so soft. Um, it is a short black bob. I realize it's a little bit sideways, which it kind of looks like that on too, but like if you position it right, it looks decent. Um, I want to say this is like right around $5 on Amazon. Then this is the most expensive expensive wig I own. Um, it needs a little bit of a brush out, but that could always be done. I've worn this a lot since I've gotten it. Um, this is my lace front. Um, it was $50 on Amazon. It's the exact same one that Amber Scholl bought. Um, I really liked it when she showed it on her channel, so I went and bought it. 
but this is the scalp and yes I did a really bad job of putting makeup on it I am well aware of that at least now her eyelash is actually up not down all right and then this one is from Walmart um, I realized that it's no longer Halloween at Walmart but you can still buy this online, and I will put the link in the description. Um, this one is actually really soft. It is really, really cute. However, um, I could probably just grab this and just... Okay, but not that one in particularly, but this sheds so bad when you try to get even a brush through it. But it's so cute for display. It is so cute to like wear with the hat. The bangs do suck when it comes to trying to actually like wear it without a hat of course this is not an all year around wig but like around the house for pictures or it may be with the hat you could probably get away with wearing it at other times of the year as well but it's just not that great of quality um it came from ruby's cosmetic ink but it's sold by walmart.com and I will put a link to it down below if you're interested I mean if you are somebody that knows how to brush out a synthetic party wig without it shedding this would be perfect because of it is actually somewhat of good quality when it comes to like the softness but also one thing to look out for is the fact that the bangs curl under so much they need cut definitely because of if you were to, obviously you can't because it's synthetic but if you were to straighten them they would be all the way down to like midway of the face they just curl under that much I also have another wig on the way from walmart.com as well as um, eventually sometime this week I plan on getting an Amazon card and ordering more off of Amazon well one more off of Amazon so yeah that's my wig collection and this is my final video for 2019 so if you have any ideas as to what you would like to see um, put a comment down below like this video and please subscribe if you can I understand if not because it's a boring channel um, you can follow me on Instagram I have a full Instagram dedicated to Kauai. I just don't post on it as much as I used to and that's also part of my 2020 dreams. So I have a 2020 dream board over there. Which that will be pinks underscore by underscore Caitlin underscore zero five. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!